Today we're gonna check out how to make this super grungy text effect here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this texture as a reference. If you wanna check out where to get these type of textures, I also gonna leave a link in the description with that video as well. Now let's go ahead and select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up, double click release. By the way, I went with a humane semi bold font. It's a free font you can download. I gotta leave a link in the description, press Ctrl A and align the text into the center. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now we're gonna to need to create a displacement for the background. So I'm gonna select the background, right click, click on duplicate layer, and let's go to the document, change it to new, rename it, displacement. I gotta go with displacement four, click OK, and it's gonna open up the texture in a new tab. I'm gonna right click on the background layer, convert to smart object. Let's go to the filter, blur, select Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna make it a little bit more blurry so it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go with four by four in my situation. Click OK, let's go to the adjustments and select black and white. Now we're gonna to need to save this, go to file, save as, and make sure to save it as a Photoshop file, PSD file. Click on save. Now I'm gonna to go to file, close, and now we're back to the original project. Let's select the text layer, I'm gonna right click on it, Let's click on Convert to Smart Object, and I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate the text layer. Now I'm gonna uncheck both of the text layers, select the background layer, and let's go to the channels. Let's select the blue channel, and drag and drop the blue channel into the plus to duplicate it. And as you can see, we're on the blue copy, and now we're gonna go to the image, adjustments, and click on levels. Increase the contrast on this quite a bit, something like this. Click OK, and let's go down and click on the Load Channel as Selection. Now let's go back and click on RGB, go back to the layers, and let's select the first layer with the text. I'm gonna make it visible, and we're gonna go and mask it. And as you can see, it could be a little bit more sharp for this composition, so I gotta go and select the thumbnail of the text here, and I gotta go to the Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and it's gonna make it a little bit more blurry, but I'm gonna decrease it a little bit more, something like this. 1.5, click OK. Now we're gonna need to make this a little bit more realistic, so let's go to the filter, distort, and select this place. I'm gonna try out with 25 by 25, click OK. And I'm gonna go and select the displacement 4 that I created, click on open, and it's gonna displace it a little bit more and make it a little bit more grungy and adapt to the texture. Now I also wanna try out another channel. I'm gonna select the background, go to the channels, and I'm gonna try it out with the green, drag and drop to the plus, create a duplicate. I'm gonna do the same thing, go to image, adjustment, levels, increase the contrast, something like this. Click OK. Let's make selection, select the RGB, go back to the layers, and I'm gonna select the first text layer now, make it visible, and I'm gonna go and mask it. So it's gonna make it a little bit more visible, a little bit more dark, but it's exactly what I needed. Now what I'm gonna do is drag the same filters from here, so I'm gonna press and hold Alt and drag the Gaussian Blur above this layer. So as you can see, if I open it up, you can see the Gaussian Blur right here. I'm gonna do the same thing with the displacement, press and hold Alt, drag it above the Gaussian Blur. And the last thing that I wanna do is press and hold control and click on the thumbnail of the text. And I'm gonna select the background, press control J to duplicate. And I'm gonna uncheck the background and check this out. It did a new copy of this texture. Select the background image and I'm gonna go to solid color, make it white, click OK. I also forgot to lock back the layer with the mask. There you go. And now I'm gonna select the second layer, double click on it. And here we got the underlying layers. And if you pull it, as you can see, you can adjust some of the details on it to make it look a little bit more realistic. And if you press and hold Alt on the handle, it is going to break in two pieces. So I'm gonna bring it something like this and make it look a little bit more realistic. Click OK, click on the top layer, go to the adjustments. Click on the hue saturation, and I'm also gonna increase the saturation to make it more saturated. And pretty much this was it for today. Thanks for watching.